Hey everybody, it's Jason. Uh, on today's unboxing, we're going to get a little wild. Something wild. Uh, this is a game by Funko. Uh, the Funko Game Company does the big giant Funko Pops. Um, and there are a ton of these out there. Um, there are These are some Disney ones. We got some Mickey and Friends. We got some Disney villains. Uh, there's Little Mermaid, Aladdin, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. They jumped into uh, Star Wars with regular Star Wars like Mandalorian. They have uh, a Christmas-themed one based on their Christmas pops. Um, and so I decided to pick up a couple of these and show them off. Um, so they're a very simple game. Um, they are semi-compatible, which is actually really fun. It's actually what I wasn't sure about. Um, so yeah, they're just kind of like a matching game. You're just trying to match some colors or numbers, kind of like... Uh, sort of like Uno, but not as crazy as Uno. There's six plus, two to four players, about 15 minutes. Um, they'll get longer if you start mixing things together. Um, it does take some basic reading requirements, though. Um, so we're going to pop in and look at what one of these do. And what we get in this set. Alright, so right off the bat, we're going to, of course, get a little Funko miniature of Mickey Mouse. Um... Got some stuff on the bottom that just, you know, legal, legal information. Um, so he's actually a thing for the game. We're going to set him up here just to kind of watch us. Alright, then you are going to get two sets of, two little decks of cards. You're going to get your something wild deck. All have the same backer on them. Um... And then you have a special power deck, which this one specifically has Mickey and friends. So now, as a quick comparison, I'm just going to pull out the villains one as well. So in the villains one, we'll have a little Maleficent. We'll just kind of set her off to the side. You are also going to get a full deck of something's wild cards so the same backer so you can mix these two decks together um, because there's nothing different about them from that side um, but then we have a villain one so you have Mickey and friend and Disney just is Disney it's Disney villains um, and they're different because they they can't get mixed together they're supposed to be two separate decks so if you do combine the games and we'll look at the combining the game rule after we learn how to play. So how do you play this game? Well, let's first of all look at what types of cards there are. There are cards suited numbers 1 through 9. So we have 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Um, and then we have the different colors. So we have, uh, and the colors also match the symbols. So we have red hearts, um, <clears throat> sorry, green music notes. Uh, purple crowns, blue moons, yellow stars. So we have five different colors, and each color has uh, five cards. So all the way down even to number one. One, two, three, four, five. And each suit, um, suit or number has the, each number, sorry, each number card has the same one. So all number one cards are peak. So we have number one cards, which will be peak. All of the number two cards are going to be Chip. All of the number three cards are Dale. All the number four cards are Daisy. All our number five cards are Donald. And they do have the little symbol on the bottom to keep track of what set it's from in case you get these mixed up. Um, six cards are Goofy. Seven cards are Pluto. And then eight cards are Mini. So we'll have like, again, you're going to have like Mini and Yellow, Blue, Purple, Green, and Red. So you're going to have five for each color. And then finally, number nine is Mickey. Um, and then the number nine cards, you'll get the same thing. They also all have a special effect. It's going to be the same effect um, for every card. So it says... When played, treat cards of this color as any color. Um, so basically, if I play this, I can now treat all my red cards as any color. And it kind of gets you a little gimmick. Now, when we get to the 
uh, villain set with Maleficent, she has a different ability. Otherwise, it's the same idea for all her other cards. So each different color has a different character um, and all that. So the only thing that's different so far between these two games are the card nines and what characters are pic pictured on them. Otherwise, the colors and the symbols and all that are the exact same. Um, so how exactly do you play the game then? So let's pop up our little rule book here and scroll in. So we have 45 character cards numbered uh, 1 to 9 in 5 colors. 10 power cards and 1 pop figure. How to win. Score a power card by making a set or a run. The first player to score 3 power cards wins. So a set is 3 cards of any color with the same number. So as long as I play you know, a 6, a 6, and a 6. I play 3 goofies. I got a set of cards. A run is three cards of the same color um, in a number order. So that way I would have to actually play, you know, um, six, seven, eight in a row. Um, so yeah, getting three color, getting a set is a little bit easier. Um, because they can be all different colors. You just have to have three numbers of the same color. Uh, getting three of the exact same, getting the run is a little bit harder because they have to be in uh, numerical order as well as um, the same color. If it's just the number order, like you just had to get a two, three, and four, uh, that'd be different. Or if you just had to collect three red cards, that would be easier. But the combination makes it a little bit harder. Alright, so game setup is pretty easy. Uh, have your deck, have a discard pile. Have the power cards set aside. And what you'll do is you'll take all these cards. There's two of each color for the power cards. Um, two reds, two, you know, of each color. You'll shuffle them up. You'll keep them face down. And then you'll draw the first one on top. So everyone knows what you're trying to look for. Um, what the ability is that you're trying to get. It says, shuffle the 10 power cards with the Mickey and Friends backer. Then place them in a face down pile. Flip the top power card face up. Place Mickey near them. Shuffle the character cards and deal three to each as your starting hand. You may look at your hand, but keep it secret from other players. Uh, place the rest of the deck face down. Youngest player goes first. So then, how do we actually play? Um, on your turn, first you draw a card. So, first turn we draw, I have four cards. Then you play one card from your hand face up in front of you. Um, you take the figure. If you play a card that is the same color as a face up power card, in the center, you take the Mickey figure. So, again, in this example, if I play a yellow card, I would get the Mickey figure. Um, so you're not going to get him every turn. You might take him from the main table. You might take him from another player. Um, and then it says, if you have the figure, you may use the power card uh, you have scored or one in the center of the table. So if I play a yellow card, I can now use this ability to score any three cards that add up to 21 or more. Um, or, if I'd already earned this card in a previous round, I would have the option of using this or whatever's on top of the pile. So then, as you're getting closer to victory, you're getting more options. Um, and then, score. If there's a set or a run of three cards face up in front of you, you score. Discard the three cards used to score and take the face up power card as a reward. And then, finally, discard. If there are more than five cards face up in front of you, discard until there are only five. So you are building your own set, trying to build these cards. So you, you're not like competing with other players. Like I said, I compared to similar to Uno, but Uno, everyone's putting stuff on the same deck. Here, you're only building your same cards. You can also use that as knowledge to see what other people are maybe playing. Like if you see someone else going towards uh, cards of eight on them, you might decide not to try and go for cards of eight um, or a run that involves eight. So you might want to do something that's, you know, not 8, 9, 10, because you might not get that last 8. Um, or, vice versa, you might try and grab that 8 to prevent someone else from getting it. Um, then play passes your luck. And you just keep going this way until someone has won 3 cards. Um, so you take the figure. Uh, the same, co same color as a power card in front of you, place it in front of you. You'll keep this figure in front of you be able to, and be able to use this power until somebody else takes it from you. So that means I'm Every turn, as long as you have it, you can use that power. Somebody else steals it from you, then you don't get that power. 
um, which is also maybe an incentive for you to try and play a card of a specific color, even if it might not benefit you. Um, power cards can help you score, but you can only use them when you have Mickey figure. You use power cards once per turn, as long as you have the Mickey figure. You may use a power card you scored and have in front of you in the center. You don't have to use a power card if you don't want to. Um, although it doesn't explicitly say it, I think it means um, you can only use one power card per, per turn, not one power card you have once per turn. Um, so you get an option like, hey, I can use a power card. I can either choose one of the ones I have in front of me or the main one, but not multiple power cards. All right. To score, you can score on your turn if you have three cards that form a set or run in front of you. Power cards can help you score in other ways, too. When you score, discard three cards. You use, uh, take the power card from the center, place it in front of you. Then flip the top power card face up to replace the one you took. Uh, the power you scored is available for you to use whenever you have the Mickey. You do not need uh, the figure to score. So you can score without having the figure. Um, so for example, you have the Mickey figure from your previous turn. Use a power that lets you treat purple cards as any color. You score with a power, so that means you have two greens and a purple, and you treat them all as greens, and then you just score that bonus. Um, end of the game. As soon as you score a third power card, you win. If the deck runs out for some wings, shuffle the discard and form a new deck. Um, so combining this with multiple games, combine two or more something wild to play with more powers. Uh, when you combine games, you'll have one power pile for each figure, but you'll shuffle all the other cards together to form one deck. Um, so this way now you're shuffling. So if I was playing with both of these, I would take both of my big fat decks, I would shuffle them together, but then I'd have one stack that's Mickey and Friends and one that's Villains. Um, so that way, depending on which character I have is which ability I can use. So that means if I had the Mickey figure, I could play either the top of the Mickey deck or a Mickey card I've scored. But if I had Maleficent, I couldn't play any of those except for the Maleficent cards. Um, and if you're playing with three or four different games, um, it, it might actually add, but it's also going to add more time to the game. So you just remember that. Um, when you score, choose any power card in the center and take it. Then you flip the top card. So then you get options of what you'd like to do. So maybe if you had one Mickey, you might want to take a Maleficent afterwards. Just that way you have multiple. So like here's some of the other examples I mentioned. There's also Toy Story. I mentioned Aladdin. There's Disney Princesses, um, which that one looks just like it might be Ariel, but it might have other things in there. Um, and it's like Night Before Christmas. There's just a couple of the ones they have. Um, that's the basics of the game. It's nothing crazy. Um... So, what makes the game really interesting, though, is because every level 9 card has a different effect, and then the power cards are always different. So, mixing and matching more of these is going to make for an interesting game. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if you get too many decks, if you buy, like, five or six of these, I don't know if I'd combine all of them. But if you had five, you could maybe do is just take one card from each deck. Um, or maybe, if you want, you take two cards from each deck um, and mix them together. So if I had five different ones, I could have, you know, one, one, one nine that's Mickey's, one that's the villain, one that's Aladdin, one that's uh, Night Before Christmas, and one that's Disney Princesses. Um, so instead of having five copies of the same ability, I have five different abilities, you know. And then the other cards don't really matter because they're all the same. Um, but yeah, some different stuff there. So then let's look at our power cards. So for Mickey and Friends, we have guess a color. Discard the top card of the deck. If it matches, play that card. And if you have any red cards in play, draw and play an extra card. The green one is treat eight as any number or discard the top card of the deck. If you have no cards in play that match that card's color or number, play it. Uh, treat a purple card as any color and guess the color and look for it in next player's hand. For each card that matches, draw the draw and play an extra card. Uh, score with any three purple, red, or yellow cards. And if you have any fives in play, play one of the top three uh, cards in the discard pile. Uh, swap a card with in play with another player's card of the same color. And score with any three cards that have to 21 or more. 
Um, you know, this would definitely be a reason to maybe even, I will just buy two sets of these, if nothing else, because then you have options, because some of these are very specific on what they can do. Um, like, you need eight. Well, hey, if I have an option, maybe I might get one of the other characters. Uh, you know, something different. Alright, so let's look at the villain set quick. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know why they did this. Um, but like, the, when this one came out, they're all separated by, by, uh, numbers. So one, two, three, four, five. Then the villains one actually just separates them by color. So we have purple, yellow, red, blue, and green. So I'll have the same symbols. Now that they have a little skull symbol down there. Um, so we're just going to look through one color. So we have at level nine, we have a Maleficent. So there's one player, choose another player. They give you a card, uh... They give you a card in play at random. So they have to pick up their card, shuffle, and they give you one of their cards. Um, could then, compared to Mickey's level 9, when played, treat this card of any color. Um, so Mickey's lets you maybe mix your colors together. Maleficent, you get a random card. We have Hades at number 8. Prince John at 7. Dr. Falasir at 6. The Queen at 5. Ka at number 4. Yzma at 3, Madam Nim at 2, and Cruella de Vil at 1. Um, and that'll be the same for each repeating color. So then let's look at Maleficent's uh, evil cards, or power cards. So her purple one is, guess a color and look at the previous player's hand. For each card that matched, draw and play an extra card. So, like, some of these are definitely going to repeat. Um, so we have the same one look at the card in the next player's hand but this is the next player's hand where hers is the previous player's hand um, so it's, it's just slightly different then we have treat eights as any color and then Mickey did have one that was treat eights as any number but it's in a different set so some of these might repeat or be very similar they might be in different colors um, so I'm not going to necessarily keep comparing all of them, but it's nice if they're not all the same. Uh, draw a random card from another player's hand. Give them a card from your hand. Score with any three number card, any cards that have numbers in any order. Swap a card with a previous player. If you have any red cards in play, play one to the top of the three cards. Play one of the top three cards in the discard pile. Uh, choosing other player to discard a random card from their hand. That player draws a new card. If you have any fives in play, draw and play an extra card. Discard the top card of the deck. All other players discard a card in play that matches that card's color. And treat green cards as any numbers. Um, so that was all of Maleficent's stuff. Or the villain's deck, rather. Um, and then if we look at the instructions, it's going to be the exact same, except they're just going to show, um, those characters instead. Uh, so this is, uh, with the Disney backs instead of, I don't know why I didn't reference it as just being villains. Um, and then the same pictures, except they swapped out that one. Um, alright, so that is what we have for Something's Wild. Um, yeah. Well, simple, interesting game. If you kind of like it, you can pick up multiple sets, get different effects. Um, little miniatures. Uh, they keep they have a bunch of them out there now, more than just what's listed on here. Um, so there we go. I just wanted to show you guys what these were in case you see these in stores and we're interested in them. All right, see you guys in another video. Bye.